There's actually a, a story behind the dragon. Smoke, smoke dragon, right? It's a symbol of Krakow. Somebody told me that the dragon created the city. Long history. Long history, huh? <laughs> Yeah, the rumor has it that the dragon actually blew smoke over this area and created the city of Krakow. So they sell uh, dragons everywhere. What are these for? Mateuszka. Mateuszka. Can I get one hot chocolate, please? Hello. Do you have postcards? Um, you know, to write and notes and send? Postal? Postal? No? Good morning from the beautiful city of Krakow. Now, Today it is extremely cold, but there still is a bit of sun and I wanted to take advantage of this beautiful day before the snow starts coming in to take you guys on a small little market hunt and a little souvenir shopping spree here in the city. Now, right now I'm starting this video off right in front of the St. Peter and Paul's Church. And wow guys, it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at all the detail, all of the little statues. The whole facade of this building is absolutely incredible. Now, I'm not too sure if we can actually enter. I mean, this door does look a little bit intimidating, but I'm gonna try and open it and see what's behind there. It looks like they have some winter concerts here for, um, if I understand this correctly, 20 Zlati, which is roughly, um, five us dollars at 8 p.m all right let's try opening and see what's going on behind these doors oh. okay this is cool all right how do we actually get in there oh i don't think i can enter through here but Look at that place, guys. Wow, what an incredible church, right? Please take off your hats. Okay, maybe this is the door? Oh. And we're in. Okay. Wow. What an absolutely incredible church, right guys? I mean, look at that. Wow, I'm the only one in here now. You can see the huge organ behind me. Wow. Okay, you know what? Let's get on out of here. But seriously, what an incredible place. Wow, that was beautiful, huh? Seriously, I don't think I've ever actually walked into that church. Now, I remember being here during the summertime and there was people playing live instruments in the front of it, but never actually gone inside. And it says that there's concerts today, so maybe that's something I can look into to do a little later on. Now, out here, oh, excuse me, guys. The hat must come on. It is absolutely freezing outside. But as I mentioned, a beautiful day. Now, the horse carriages have started. It's quite early today to give you guys a little bit of context. It is 10.30 in the morning right now. So yeah, not a lot of movement, but enough. Enough to, yeah, give you the energy you need to get outside and enjoy a little bit of the day as well. Now right here is actually a small little 
I guess you can call it what a 3d map or a 3d look at what the church actually looks like this is where we walked in from and through this door and it's actually quite decent size I mean look at this I love being in European cities because everywhere you go <laughs> they always have one of these that sits out front of like the center of the square and it actually says right here that the church of Saints Peter and Paul the Apostles consecrated in 1635 is it is the first battle Q church in Krakow and was constructed by a few builders the facade and interiors were designed by Giovanni Trevano the church was founded funded by Sigismund the third Vaza for the G suits I'm sorry this is extremely hard for me to read the Rom the Roman the Romance Q St. Andrew's Church was erected in the second half of the 11th century and refurbished at the turn of the 13th century in 1320 the church was taken over by the poor clares who added a monastery to the site following strict monistic rules they have remained here to this day so I'm guessing that this one right here is the St. Andrew's Church which is actually right next to the St. Peter and Paul's Church. Wow, super interesting, right? A little bit of um, history to kick off a beautiful day here in Poland. Now, right now we're actually gonna walk over towards the main square because there's a cool little market that I actually walked through yesterday when I was filming for you guys. And I wanna go back there and do some souvenir shopping. As I mentioned, I think in that video, this is my last country before I head back to the US. I'm actually having a quick layover in Spain. I booked a little bit of a dump flight. It was the cheapest one I could find. It was 335 euro, so $335 from Spain to the United States, to Los Angeles. But, um, oh, wow, look at this bike. That's beautiful. But in order to score that sick deal right now on Christmas week, I actually had to buy the flight with some layovers. So I actually have a stop in Madrid um, where I'm gonna be spending one night. Then I had fly to Barcelona, literally on a 35 minute flight. And then in Barcelona, I have a 24 hour layover. And then the following day, we take off to Los Angeles. Well, I do. Um, I'm actually here with Gladys, but she's going to be going home to Venezuela for the holidays. And then we'll start planning our next big adventure for January. But, yeah, just to give you guys a little bit of context, because you guys do see the videos on the channel usually two to three weeks after I film them. I'm trying to catch back up, but as I mentioned, it's very important for myself or for me to also enjoy the places I'm at while I'm here. So I try not to edit too much. I try to go out, film, but still also enjoy where I am. Because that's one thing I told myself when I started this channel and things really started to pick up was that I will always continue doing this because I love to do this and I'm not gonna over stress myself out by simply just working all the damn time. Nobody wants to do that. You know, you don't become your own boss to work 24 seven. That's not how it works. But let's look at what kind of sweet treats they got right here. Wow, these look like some donuts. Wow, those look delicious. Rose heap, never even heard of that. A Kinder Bueno donut, that sounds bomb. Wow, look at this one. Oh yeah. I can see that being dangerous. But the weather is quite weird today, guys. It's actually two degrees right now. So pretty damn cold. But the sun is shining still. So you start feeling a little bit warm and you want to take off or delay a little bit. But the moment you do, you start freezing your ass off again. I don't know. For all you guys that live in the cold, let me know if that is relatable. I've only had a handful of winters like this in my lifetime. Wow, that's a nice Christmas tree.
Now, one thing I've noticed here in the city is that the public transportation is absolutely incredible. Like most European cities, it's super accessible, super easy to use. And they also do have these like electric car city tours everywhere as well. And Gladys and I actually asked the price for those tours a little earlier today. And it turns out that they actually offer a tour around the old town, around the Jewish ghetto, around the, um, oh man, there was one more, the Jewish quarter. And I forgot, but either way, it's an hour and a half long tour for 400 Zloty, which is roughly 80, 90 US dollars for up to five people. So not bad at all. Now you can do a half hour tour around the old city for only 40 US dollars for a private car. So up to, fitting up to four people for me, it sounds like an awesome deal. Wow guys, sorry, I'm getting lost at, like really lost on my words because it's extremely cold. Now, on this main street, you're gonna see a lot of different um, souvenir shops. This is a steak burger restaurant, ice cream shop. What is this? A sweet shop. Oh yeah, I love those. And more donuts. But in my opinion, the souvenirs that look the best are the ones inside of this little um, market that I'm taking you guys on into right now. Now you can definitely tell who are the locals and who are the tourists. The locals are all like scarfed up, wearing beanies, huge coats. And then the locals are walking around just, yeah, hands out in the open, smoking cigarettes. I've seen a couple people out in shorts and I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? But yeah, actually I'm gonna take my beanie off right now. Whew, starting to warm up a bit. But here we are in the main crack off Old Town Square. Now, tomorrow, I actually plan on heading into the Jewish ghetto to film a video for you guys. To show you a little bit of that dark history yet important history. Because I feel like it's one of those things worth visiting, one of those places worth visiting, and one of those events worth teaching you guys a little bit about. Now, here in Krakow, in, well, in the vicinity of Krakow, you can also find Auschwitz concentration camp, which is honestly one of the most terrible places in the world. And I've actually been to twice now. If you'd like to see, to see a video of Auschwitz, feel free to check out my channel. It's one of my older videos on the channel. It was one of the first ones that actually performed very well. And it's worth watching. Now, Gladys is actually gonna be heading there tomorrow, but I won't be going back because that is an absolutely terrible place. And yeah, I don't feel like it's one of those places that I ever wanna see again with my own eyes. Wow, a lot of walking tours out here this morning. You got the clock tower. All right, but here's the market that we're gonna be jumping on into today to start our little shopping. Now, I'm also gonna be buying a few souvenirs to send out to the members of the channel as well. Let me go ahead and take these gloves off. Ooh. Oh yeah, that feels great. All right, well, let's see what we can get our hands on here. This shop looks absolutely beautiful as well. Look, they got some chess boards, some ceramic plates it looks like. Got some jewelry. Wow, these look amazing. No, I think we're gonna have to ease our way into this little market hunt and maybe purchasing a magnet. A magnet always seems like the go-to souvenir. Wow, these ones look awesome. Oh wow, this one has the castle and the dragon. 
Hello. Uh, what are the prices for your magnets? 15. 15? Okay, so 15. What is that? 3 euro. Roughly 3 euro, huh? Okay, you know what? I think I'm actually going to take... Can I take this one, please? I'm gonna go with the... Wow, her shop is beautiful. So I'm gonna take that magnet to kick this off. And there's actually a, a story behind the dragon. Smoke, smoke dragon, right? It's a symbol of Krakow. Somebody told me that the dragon created the city. Oh, long history. Long history, huh? <laughs> yeah, the rumor has it that the dragon actually blew smoke over this area and created the city of Krakow. So they sell uh, dragons everywhere. And they actually remind me of Spyro the dragon. Let me know if you guys remember Spyro the dragon. Um, I'll do card, please. Actually, cash, cash. Yeah, and how much is the small Krakow cup? 12? I'll take one of those too. That looks awesome. So this here is what the Zlati looks like, guys. This here is a 100 note, which is roughly 30 or 25 US dollars. Who's who's on the front? Is that the king? King, wow. Poland king. Poland king. There you go. And there we go, guys. We bought ourselves a nice little souvenir. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You know what? I think I'm actually going to start putting all of these in the backpack because then, then you find yourself walking around with so much stuff in your hands and it's hard to film and yeah shop when you have so much things in your hands now let's look at what this other lady is selling wow these are wine corks that say crack off those are super cool more dragon magnets these here are the pretzels that you can find on the streets let's see I definitely want to buy um, a few more items because I'm gonna be heading home and I actually haven't done no souvenir shopping at all this trip oh these are Polish flags hello can I take one of these please one of the Polish flags and here in Poland you say Jacqui 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 means thank you <laughs> I'll take this. Thank you. And there we go. We got a Polish flag patch. Now this one here, I'm actually going to give to Gladys because she likes to put them um, on one of her backpacks as he has. Thank you. Dziękuję. Now, I've noticed that the Polish people are extremely happy people. Here in Poland, everybody smiles, everybody waves, everybody wants to talk to you. It's very, very nice. Especially after coming from... Well, I spent a few days in Paris, as you guys seen. And in Paris, people weren't the most friendliest, but it didn't really bother me because I was in Paris. Like, nothing could really bother me. Wow, these look beautiful. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to do any jewelry right now this trip. Now, a lot of things that always catch my eye, they're items that are absolutely huge and I have no room for. But this shop looks super beautiful as well. Wow, well, look at these. I wonder what this is for. There's something inside of there. And there's actually bigger ones here. And these are like some... Are, Excuse me, sir. Are these jewelry boxes? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they are jewelry boxes. Wow, those are super nice. Maybe I might have to buy one of these ones. I want a small one. Oh, these are nice. 
So this one actually opens like this. Wow, that's super cool. Okay, you know what? Let's see. Let me know what catches your guys' eyes inside of this shop. And all of these are handmade too. Wow, you know what? This one's absolutely beautiful. 25 Zloty. No, maybe I'll go with this one that says crack off. He keeps hoping out more and more that I like. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. This one looks nice. Now this gentleman doesn't seem like the most friendly. Hello, sir. I'll take this one. Thank you. Going home with a little bit of everything. Exactly how I like to do things. <coughs> and what are what are these for? Mateoska. Mateoska. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Well, he even has um, some little ornaments. What are they? The nut cr nutcrackers. Jinkui. All right, so we got ourselves a jewelry box or a little stash box, whatever you want to use this for. Now, there is also a lot of winter clothing here that can be found. So if you come unprepared like I have to the European winter, you'll be able to find some cool stuff. Wow, these are sweet. But to be fair, the more you travel around, the more you're gonna realize that a lot of the places in the world you go, when it comes to souvenirs, they all sell relatively the same stuff, guys. And it gets kind of boring, actually. Like, doing souvenir shopping gets kind of um, boring. That's why I don't do it too often. But, you know, you gotta go home with your souvenirs. Now, you know what I actually need now? I need some postcards because I got to send some postcards out to you guys. And I really would like to find them here in this video to show you guys exactly what I'll be sending out. Let me see. Hello. Do you have postcards? Um, you know, to write and notes and send. Postal? Postal? No? Thank you. Okay, she had no idea what the postcards were. Completely understandable though. Hi. Um, that one doesn't look too interesting. Let's actually head over this way and see if we can find one right here. Hello. Hello. Do you have postcards? No. No? Okay, thank you. Thank Okay, so she, she knew about the postcards, just didn't have any. If we can't find postcards, we're going to have to find magnets. Hello. Hello. Do you have postcards? Yes. Oh, these ones. Wow, these ones are beautiful. Oh, I like that one. Oh, this must be in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not right now. Um, what are the price for the postcards? Two zloty. Two zloty. Okay. Well, I'm going to take that one. That one looks beautiful. Let's see what other ones I can get my hands on. Wow, this one's very nice as well. Oh, this one's cool too. What building is that? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> Fair enough. All right, we're going to take that one as well. I think I'm just going to load up on a few postcards, guys. I like them. They're all super beautiful. I want to find more of the old of the square. Okay. There's no more of the square. No. Oh, I found one. There's one more of the square. Oh, this one's beautiful too. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's grab a few more. I feel bad for the next person. They're not going to have no selection to choose from. 
I'm taking all of them. Okay, I'm gonna take these ones. Thank you. So as I mentioned, if you guys wanna receive these postcards from all the destinations I visit, consider becoming a member. Now, just know that sometimes there's gonna be a delay in the postcards because I send them out once I get back home, but you will receive them, you have my word. 16? Thank you. Wow, this shop is beautiful. Look at these dragons that are made out of glass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, we got our postcards. If you guys want a postcard, you know what to do. And let me just remind you guys. Even if you can't become a member, I still appreciate you guys so so much. You guys watching this video are plenty is plenty for me. It's enough. I'm grateful. But yeah, I guess that's it. I was it with the little market hunt. Now we're back outside in the main square. To be honest, I had higher expectations for the market hunts, but nothing really caught my eye. Okay, so um, as I mentioned earlier at the church, here outside, you can also find one of these like 3D sculptures of the building we actually entered right now so we entered through this side to give you guys a perspective and we have now come out of this end now if i remember clearly before i read anything this was an old horse stable let me see if i'm right the cloth hall merchant stalls which have occupied the central part of the main market square since the 13th century after extensive moderation between 1875 and 1879 it gained the arcades since 1879 it has been the seat of the krakow branch of the national museum the last significant restoration of the cloth hall took place in 2010 okay so i was completely wrong it's okay Sometimes we all need to be wrong every once in a while. But, look at the birds flying around. It's okay to be wrong. I think society has um, changed perceptions of people and you know, nowadays when you make a mistake or you say something wrong, you do something wrong. Um, it's looked down upon, but it's not. It shouldn't be at all. I mean, it's okay to be wrong. Maybe later, thank you. Should we go on a horse carriage ride? Maybe later, huh? Well, I think this is actually gonna be the end of this little walk around. Now, it's super beautiful out. Actually, you know what? Let's let's go, let me take you guys around this way. Let's go get something hot to drink and then, then we'll bring this video to an end. I feel like if we can get our hands on something hot, it will make the whole this whole day, this whole video, a lot more enjoyable. If only you guys could see just how cold my hands are right now. I mean, look, they're, they're red. <laughs> they're red. I need to put my gloves back on. Oh, wow, this Christmas market is amazing. But I won't show you too much because I'm going to come back here for a little hunt later on. Once I cool down a little bit. And we'll go crazy on some food here. But, oh man, some nice hot chocolate will definitely hit the spot right now. Oof, and they definitely have some here ready. Okay, now along with the hot chocolate, they also have all kinds of chocolate covered vegetables and fruits. Look, they got kiwis, tangerines, pineapples, marshmallows, a chili pepper and chocolate. Can't say that sounds appetizing, but the hot chocolate sure does. Hello. Can I get a hot chocolate? Oh, pay this way. Oh. Can I get one hot chocolate, please? It's freezing out right now. Thank you. Oh no, the block is hot. 
Thank you. Sometimes it doesn't want to tap. I don't understand. I think I need a new card. I think it's time for a new card. <laughs> Maybe, can we stick it in somewhere? Thank you. Oh, just holding this is amazing. Can't wait to taste it. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. I already forgot how to say thank you in Polish. Oh man, that one's a hard one, that's why. All right, well, we, we scored on the hot chocolate. Oof, hot it is, but hella tasty, hella delicious. All right guys, well, that's it of our small little tour of the city center. I know we didn't go too hard on the shopping, but that is because, well, nothing really caught my attention. I just wanted the postcard, I wanted the magnets. I got myself a little coffee cup that I'm gonna be taking back home. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of Krakow. Let me know what you guys think of Poland. Let me know if you wouldn't mind walking around this old town square with a hot chocolate in your mouth. I mean, in your mouth, in your hand, and enjoying these Christmas vibes, because this, I simply cannot complain about. Anyways, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.